Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrudo, where I show you how to make all kinds of things from the simple to the complex, with a focus on design and originality. Together, let's celebrate the spirit of building, creativity, and inspiration. As some of you may know, my basement is currently being waterproofed. Uh, they dug a new trench all along the inside and drilled holes into the wall, and water flows from the wall into this trench, into the sump pump, and out to the backyard which means all the water that's trapped in the walls now has a place to go and this is definitely needed as you can see here we've painted the walls a couple times and look at this watery yellow mess so I don't have a shop because everything is in huge piles right now and so I'm gonna answer a few questions so let's get started are you gonna take advantage of the bare walls and build more storage space are you gonna make the shop area more productive better now that you have to move everything what changes do you see your shop going through in the future layout tools, different space. So there's this room right here that I am currently knocking down. It is on the workshop side of the basement and it was used for storage. Now it's gonna be part of the shop. So I'm going to gain a lot of room right here and more so than just gaining floor space, I'm all, this is, was in my way. And so I'm, I'm glad to get this out of the way. So I'm actually rebuilding this on the other side of the shop or other of the basement for storage. Um, and before I was afraid to hang anything on the walls or drill into the walls because I didn't know if that was going to hurt the value of the house or cause more water problems. The, the basement crew that came in and did our waterproofing said totally okay to drill into the walls and hang stuff. So now uh, I'm gaining space and I am gaining wall storage space that I can use. So my shop is going to go through a complete renovation here. Uh, over the next year as I try to figure out my new flow, the, the feng shui of, 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 of the space and where everything should go. Could you bring some guests on the show and do some co-builds? I like your ability to interact and bring other markets together. Um, so yes, my buddy Brian is coming over I think on Tuesday and he's going to help me put up some walls to section off the band room of the basement and the laundry room of the basement. and. I've never built walls before, but it looks pretty straightforward and figured I'm gonna film it and Brian's gonna help me, so yeah, there you go. Top five favorite rock bands, top five favorite albums. My top five bands that are no longer around, Nirvana, White Stripes, Rolling Stones, MC5, Beastie Boys. Top five bands that are currently making music, Black Lips, Black Rebel Motorcycle Club, Honey El Khatib, Eagles of Death Metal, and Beck. And my top five albums of all time, which changes every single week. Ask me again next time and I'll give you a different answer. But right now it's White Stripes, White Blood Cells, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, Nirvana, In Utero, Rolling Stones, Beggar's Banquet, T-Rex, Electric Warrior. What are your favorite projects? Uh, easily my coffee station, the coffee table, and my keyboard stand. Wish I would have made a video for the keyboard stand. If you had to start over in a smaller space, which three tools would you keep? And do you wish you were Canadian? Uh, if I had to, I have a pretty small space now, but uh, it's expanding, like I said. Um, I would keep my bench, my table saw, and band saw. Three things I use the most. Uh, do I wish I was Canadian? Yes, for their politeness. No, for their winners. Worst injury in the shop. I've never hurt myself making anything except for hitting my head uh, on duct work and my hip on benches and tools. How can I keep pasta from sticking together? Olive oil. Most people don't have enough olive oil in their kitchen. What is your favorite spaghetti sauce recipe? One can of D Fratelli crushed tomatoes, one can of D Fratelli Italian sauce, a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, raw chicken legs and thighs. Put everything in a crock pot on low Cook it for eight hours. Don't touch it, don't do anything to it. Pour it over some um, penne pasta, serve with wine. Best spaghetti you'll ever have. So good. Do you have a favorite scent? Yes, the Korg MS-20. Would you, Jimmy, and Bob ever come to Maker Fair in the UK? Of course, if they pay for it. Will there ever be the making a guitar without a CNC router video you promised us? Yes, sorry for the delay. Favorite place to spend time? That is Hocking Hills area in Ohio. Mountains, hills, trees, caves, water, ponds, rivers, lakes. So beautiful. 
uh, Kelly and I got married there. We go there almost once a year to just hang out and visit, spend time in a cabin, be with nature. Beautiful, Hocking Hills, Ohio. What is the tool you didn't know you needed? It is without a doubt proper shop furniture and a place to put tools and a place to store tools and a place to rest tools on. A proper place to put tools is highly undervalued. Do you ever watch your own videos? I do, a lot actually. It's good to know where you've been so you can figure out where you're going. How do you continuously find inspiration for your projects and builds? Also, being self-employed, how do you keep your motivation and avoid distractions? And where do you get inspiration for projects in any given medium? Most of my inspiration comes from seeing other people make things. That's like YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, artist documentaries, and books. And as far as keeping myself from getting distracted, uh, this is what I do for a living. If I get distracted, I can't pay the bills. So I do it out of necessity. All right, guys, this was part one of two. Tomorrow, we're going to go a little bit deeper with questions like this. Best YouTuber set up for the cost. And like this, what would be your best advice for someone who wants to start a maker YouTube channel? So hopefully next week, I can get my shop put back together and put out another project video for you. Thanks for watching. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something.